Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, Club 4, Episode 10. So, uh, we've only played a handful of games, and uh, we're coming back for AMG today, and I'll explain why, because I know I told you we would come back for the season finale. But today is an important match. Uh, so, uh, since uh, our last episode, we ended up beating uh, Fortaleza. 2-0, Jefferson and Taquez with goals. Taquez, it was not a penalty. Go figure. And uh, then we played OFEC, uh, or OPE. Uh, we lost 2-1. to one. We were actually heavily favored. Uh, just didn't put the ball in the net. And then we played, uh, who is this, MCL. Uh, and we tore their MCL 4-1. to one. Two own goals, so that was nice. Two uh, so much, much rejoicing on our end. Pepe and Taquez, of course, with a penalty, uh, got the goals. Uh, they bounced one off of the backside of the keeper and their defender. I don't know if he was trying to clear the ball or pass the ball back to the keeper for the keeper to clear the ball, but they were in the six yard box. And he just put it in the net. <laughs> so, and the keeper was like, <laughs> so that was funny uh so if we take a look at the competition we are top of the table and we are nine points clear we are looking really good we have opened up a little bit of breathing room with some draws by amg uh, ala has surprisingly lost a couple more games uh, so we have opened up a little bit of a uh, break between us and the rest of the pack so why are we coming back today against number two AMG? Well, if we get one point, we secure promotion for next season up to t the first division. So that's why we're back today. So we're going to play today, and then we'll either play the next match if we don't garner a point, uh, because I think that'll be a big milestone. And I think what we'll do is once we've secured, the only other thing is you know maybe to come back for a game a clinching game if we're going to clinch first place you know that would be that would be the only thing i'd like to maybe come back for so let's get to it uh we are on the road we are favorites they've got a nice crowd it is raining i am going to play with uh this tactic i've been mainly playing our uh, 4 one 4 one uh but last match with the two own goals i switched over to this one and I think I want to go with this one again. Just because we're on the road, we are playing a strong side, and uh, we're not heavily favored, right? So, anyway, we've made an offer on a young player uh, for the end of the season, uh, waiting to see if he accepts it. He's not, no great shakes. I mean, he's a good player, but he needs, he's still only 19. Uh, he actually got released by another club. Uh, we have conceded 23 goals in 39 games that Kalambari has played in. Kalambari is a badass. Uh, very happy with him. Would love to keep him. Speaking of, what's the deal with him? He's on loan. Um, he is wanted. I'm going to make an inquiry because, I mean, he's not signed. He, his contract's up in two months. All right. Uh, pick up where you left off, and let's get to it. All right. We are in the blue kits today. I just can't help but feel that's a little bright, that I'm a little washed. I did adjust it, but... AMG's in the red. They just recently had an update to a survival game called Miss Survival. I've started a save on that. If you uh, are interested in those kind of games, check it out. I really enjoy playing that particular one. It's a, uh, it's a survival, zombie killing, first person shooter, sandbox building game but it's actually really good. <laughs> All right, Kalambari controls it in the box, lumps it out. Ito, 
Brings it up. Oh, he hoofs it over to his also newcomer who launches it back in. Oh, no. Playing around with the ball down there, guys. Oh, Lorenko just got blown out of position. Sosa puts his 13th of the season into the net. Ugh. It's going to be kind of embarrassing if we come back uh, for a clinching style game and you guys don't get to see me clinch. All right. Ito, Lorenko, over the bar. 13 to 3 on shots. We are playing well. Uh, prove a point. You avoid another booking if you don't mind. I wish there was an option just to take less long shots. I mean, you would think work the ball into the box would do that. Get creative. All right, Ito into the box. Get to the ball, Ito. Jeez. Romulo Frank, the captain from range. No, that's that's not good. Uh, Faginio. Let's bring Tiberi on for him. Lozano, actually. No, we're going to have to move him back here. And then we'll bring Patel on. That'll work. Um, we did lose our uh, tight thigh for Patel. Come on, man. You just went in the game. To Burry, into the box. Come on. Push forward into the wall. Nice header. Oh, come on. All right, there's a good control. Danilio, possible counter, except, uh, hello, hello, you want to make a run? We're not supposed to be holding up play here. Romulo Frank, Pratel, Ito, nice ball into Tiburi. Oh, across the face of the keeper, his second goal of the season. Very nice. Whew. They are second in the table, so I'll be happy with salvaging just the point. Although we've outplayed them, we should be winning this game. Nine long shots, not happy with that. Um, Pratel, damn. Eh, you're still at 86%. Uh, Felipe. I haven't been playing Felipe very much since he, uh, started throwing a fit and he's, he's slacking off in training. So hopefully he doesn't come in here and cost us the game. No, this is going to be... I don't think that even crossed the line to go into play. All right, we're a full minute over stoppage time, so I'm expecting a whistle here any second. The boys don't appear too concerned. That was horrible. All right. Now, we don't get to celebrate. No ticker tape. Uh, yeah, I do appreciate the effort. All right, we have won promotion. All right, we will come back. Pivotal match was a 5-0 win over SBE. Nice. AMG hold out for a draw. Patel. Uh, oh, wow. Here we go. Initial budgets. 5.69 million for the payroll. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Incredible feat. K 
Cajun, undoubtedly one of the best head coaches around. Unexpected promotion? Wow. All right, really? I thought we were uh, season preview. Oh, yeah, we were picked to finish just mid-table. That's right. That's right. All right, cool. So what I can do now is I can start thinking out loud here I can start trying to sign some players for the step up right uh, yeah you're a uh, yeah, defensive work cool um, so I could start looking at players end of contracts that will be first division next year guys that will be upgrades so I'll start looking at that what we'll do is we will come back because we're only 11 minutes into the episode, of course. So I'm going to try to gauge where we can clinch. Uh, let's see. Let's finish out the day here. Newell's old boys. Boy, it would be nice to have been there, huh? I want to finish the day. There we go. All right. Um just make sure what we're dealing with here. Uh, are you any good? 15 finishing. A 24-year-old forward. He's listed. 12,000. Good pace. Good finishing. First touch is... Eh. Let's get a scouting report on him. And let's see. So we have four matches left. That's 12 points. And we are nine points up. If we get a point here, even if they get three, let's say they get three and we get one, that narrows our lead to seven. No, that wouldn't clinch. But if we got a win, even if they got a win, that would be nine with nine. Technically, we wouldn't clinch, technically, but we'd have a plus 12 goal differential advantage. And I don't see them catching up there. So, uh, I don't know what to do here, guys. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. I will record the next match. If we don't clinch, I will delete that, and then I will record the following match until the point that we actually clinch. And then you guys will see the clinching match wherever that comes. Um, I guess I just blew the suspense for you, but we don't know what match that'll be. And we do finish with, uh, let's see, 7th in the table, 14th, 11th, and 19th. Not a bad run in at all. So we ought to clinch pretty easy at some point hopefully we clinch we can win silverware that would be a great way to start the home stretch of this save because i haven't won silverware yet right i have not won well we we no we we reached the quarterfinals let's see let's go way back Jeez, Minnesota. Remember those guys? All right, we did win. Okay, so we won silverware. We won the Tessera, the third division. Uh, fifth, not good. Fifth, not good. Sixth, fourth. One playoff final. There we go. Won the opening stage, but we didn't get any silverware for that. Fourth. Doo -doo. Hired at Cerro Largo. Runners up. First round, second round. Finished 10th. 
sold Kevin Marrera. Remember him? The little short guy, left back. Oh, we won the Torneo Intermedio at Cerro Largo, so that's two pieces of silverware. All right, well, so a third piece of silverware would be great. All right, well, I will be back momentarily for you, and I'll figure out where I'm going to come back. All right, guys, so uh, we beat LEC 2-0, Pepe with a brace. Unfortunately, it did not clinch anything for us. We are still nine points up with a plus 12 goal differential. So we are back for today's match against PON. They're 13th in the table. I should probably figure out what PON stands for, but I don't care. I really don't. All right, we're wearing the blue kits. We're even favorites for today. Ah. You know what? We're gonna go with our go with our tactic. Uh, Lozano. All right, he's doing okay. Everybody's fine. Lozano. Uh, let's see. Did we make any transfer news? We've we've made an offer for Kalambari, and Zidane is the other guy. Uh, oh, he did accept, so he's joining January 1st. So we'll take a look at him. He's a right back, left back, either foot, so that's good. Very pretty good physicals. He needs to he needs to get better, but crossing could be pretty good for him. He just needs to work on his defense. He is only 19, so he'll get, he's got a couple of years to try to get better. He's not going to cost us a ton of money. And uh, did we do anything else? No, we did not. All right, well, let's see if we can raise some silverware today, boys. Oh, hold on. Beep. Better with or without? Uh, hmm. I just re-angled that a little bit. Instead of pointing directly at me here. It's off to the side. May may break up some of those shadows. All right. Uh, dressing room. Pick up where you left off. Let's, let's. I have faith in you. All right, boys. Get it done. Oh. I thought they were going to pounce. Uh, hello, what the hell? Why? Why would it do that? All right, there's our league table. All right, we picked up a couple of early yellow cards. Tell them to get creative. Inspired. Nothing happening. Nothing at all. All right. Rojas. Romulo Frank. Columbari. Ah. All right. Lozano controls it. Lumps it in. Oh, taken down in the box, and Rojas is going to line up for the penalty. Uh, Rojas taking charge. Because normally that would be Taquez taking the PK. Hmm. Oh, he puts it in. Get in there, boys. His 11th goal of the season. Is that the magic goal for us? Oh, they're disinterested. They shut down. I'm going to praise our boys. Halftime. All right. I think we got outplayed there a little bit, but we're winning. Um, hand over to the assistant and then all three of these guys. Watch that second yellow card, if you don't mind. 
That would be fabulous. All right, we picked up another couple of shots. Lozano into the box. Takez, oh, it was on the line. Good clear by them. All right, Rojas. Oh, he takes it too far. Counter opportunity. Oh, Antonio just blows past our back line. What a save by Nello. Cleared off the line. Uh, you know what? I am going to... Let's go here. Actually, we can put Pepe up top. Yes, yes. And then I would bring Ito onto the right. And hmm. Lozano. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Felipe over there. I, I get it. I get it. It's not your regular position, but you're a left back. You could you should be able to play right back if you can play left back. Oh no! Offsides. Whew. Offsides. All right. Uh, demand more. Oh, he was offsides. It was not the goal scorer. It was Jonathan offsides. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Let's tighten up a little bit. All right. Out of veto, he's kind of young. But Guinho's only five eight. I certainly don't want him on the back line. I think we're gonna put Tata Vito in for Lorenko. Uh, praise. Come on, Columbari, Jefferson. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Yes. Oh, somewhere. Woo. Champions. Oh, what a season, boys. What a season. Oh, I'm walking around holding the silverware. That's incredible. Oh, we're going to be passionate. These are the moments you'll remember when you hang up your boots. Oh, let's, we clinched the second division. Nice. An impressive coaching career. Miracle Man Cajun. Nice. 20 to 1 preseason odds. Sweet. Sweet. Mid-table. And we've won it. We've won it all. Yes. That's a nice little trophy there, isn't it? I like that. That's a nice looking trophy, boys. Got the little shields on it. Sweet. Crest. I like it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. This will be the last episode for this season. We're going to move on to first division next year. Uh, but that means I have some, some work to do. Uh, let's see. I do want to come back. 
here in just a second. So I will add a third part to this episode with the season wrap up awards and whatnot. But we have uh, two matches yet to play over the next uh, two weeks. I will play those off camera. We'll come back. We'll review the, uh, the player awards and everything. Uh, and then we will give a kind of quick run through on what, if anything, that we expect to do for next year. Top of the league, boys. AMG secures promotion, but we are champions. Does that help me any at all? Or not till, oh yeah, well, we got half a star for winning silverware. Nice, noise. Should be more, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and yes, it is Portuguese in Brazil. I did learn that because now I'm fluent at it. If I offended anybody by suggesting it was Spanish, that was just my lack of knowledge at the time because I was trying to learn the language. And I didn't even know what language it was I was trying to learn. So Portuguese, it's a good thing. Um, what was that movie with John Travolta? Phenomenon. He learned to read Portuguese driving to help that sick kid. He learned it like in 20 minutes. What a guy. All right. So we'll be back for the awards in just a second. See you guys. All right, guys. We are back for the final part of the video. So uh, taking a look, we ended up drawing with JOI00. Uh, we did play a fully rotated squad. We had a couple of players make debuts. So not a whole lot there. And then we went with the full Monty, uh, all of our starters in the last uh, last match of the season. 3-1 win. Tabiri scored uh, the first goal and Augustin Rojas with a two-minute brace. That was uh, incredible, including a penalty. So he has uh, been pushing Tabiri off the, off the spot for penalties. Just out of curiosity, uh, penalty taking is an eight to Bury to Bury's only a five what the hell happened there oh that's not that's not the guy I'm thinking about to Bury Takez he's a nine yeah I thought he was better than that but that's all right okay um so let's uh do the wrap up here so Best 11, end of season awards. Moraha, fans player of the season, 55%. I'm actually surprised by that. Uh, Foguinho, goal of the season. Danilio, signing of the season. And Moraha, the young player of the season, 18 years old. I'm surprised our striker did not get any love. Now, ah, well, uh, let's see. So lost in the quarterfinals, won the national second division, lost in the quarterfinals of the other cup, 79% attendance, 34 players used, tied for the highest in the league. Um, squad dynamics. So I had asked this question earlier in this season. Remember, we, we had a pretty good locker room, but leadership support was always really bad. And I asked what, if you guys knew what would cause that to go, you know, be so low. Because I had never really had issues with that before. Locker room atmosphere I'd had go up and down with losses. But leadership support, I never, but I've noticed in 19, it's always been really bad. So I went and did a search and, and I basically found that in your first season, it's always going to be bad. You're the new guy. You're taking over the club, the locker room. And even, you know, it could be due to, I know one of the clubs that we've been in in this journeyman was because they were a little above my level. You know, I was like a one and a half star. They were like a two and a quarter star uh, as a club. And so that was, you know, I wasn't good enough to be their coach, according to the players. But also reading that just your first year is really rough. You just have to kind of fight through it. And, uh, you know, you may lose some players, but if you get to the end of the first year, into that second year, that's going to go up. And you can see that's climbed into the excellent range. So it's actually even better. Uh, discuss plans for next season. Well, 
Um, we're good enough to not be relegated, and that will be our... Well... All right, well, that's all right. They can uh, they can get mad. End of season confidence review. We're sitting on untouchable, 95%. Club finances are very high. Locker room atmosphere has gone way up. We don't have any philosophy, so you kind of, that could be good or bad. You can't hurt yourself, but you can't gain any benefit there either. Club stature going back up. Competitions were high. Matches were doing okay transfers and tactics so that's going well end of season break uh let's see second division player of the year well rojas finishes second moraha finishes third samuel sosa 28 appearances 12 goals eight assists played a 747 with the ai that's pretty good Moraha, young, uh, young second division player of the year, wins. Nice. Cajun wins head coach of the year. Sweet. And Kalambari Moraha named to the second division team of the year. So that's excellent. Uh, let's see. We do have a little bit going on transfer-wise. Uh, we'll go over it more because none of these are set in stone. But we have... We have signed a few people, so uh, joining us for sure will be a backup goalkeeper, Erasmo Marcella from, is that, I want to say Juventus, but who knows? Juventus is in Europe, so I don't know any of these South American clubs, except for Santos. Uh, but he is our going to be our backup keeper. I think he's pretty talented. He's 24. He's on an affordable salary, so he's coming on board. Damn double click. Uh, Defender Zidane, we already looked at. Kalambari, we have signed. Uh, so he will be joining us full time. David Luiz is a new center back, 25 years old, 620 caps for Brazil. Pretty good physically. S solid defensive stats in the center. He can play left if we need him to, and he's got really good mentals as well. Decision making, positioning. Like to be, I'd like to get, uh, you know, I, I would really like to start focusing on uh, one of the guys that I'm really fond of this year, not in the game, but in real life, is uh, is uh, Ben White, who Leeds has on loan, and, and he has been just incredible and uh his big thing is he's so good with the ball at his feet you know he'll actually act like a you know like messy i mean you know like not to that level of course but you know the ability to to you know juke a juke a attacking player uh coming to get the ball from him you know he can juke him he's nutmeg uh strikers and midfielders uh putting pressure on him uh, his ball playing, is, his ball playing ability, and his passing is stellar. And we're not talking just short passes, you know, five or ten feet. You know, he's got diagonal passes all the way across the midline to a, you know, to a, a winger making a run. Um, and and he's got somewhere close to ninety percent pass rate rating. Uh, it's insane i don't think anybody expected it this year but he has really made an impression not just on me but leeds fans in general uh would love to get him full time um and as much as i miss pontus jansen uh this ben white kid is the real deal i think so anyway we wanted to strengthen our our center center back there so that's going to be our big guy uh we've got offers out on dude uh I mean, dude's got a cool name. I mean, he's the dude, but, you know, he's really good, too. So if these guys come on board, we will look at them. Takez, of course. So we're making some signings across the board. One goalkeeper, uh, three defenders joining us next year. Uh, we've got offers out on a couple of midfielders, and uh, we've got one attacker coming in, and I would love this guy to be another attacker. We've got him on trial. Um he hasn't accepted yet, but so I don't know 
if this is over 10, if he's 11 or 12, and he's, you know, 12, 13 here, with a 14 to 20 finishing, I'm not happy with the first touch. I don't know if I'm going to go after him or not, but I thought he, you know, with a 20, somewhere around a 20 finishing, that would be a great pairing with Takez. Uh, what else? Let's take a look at final stats on the season. So 56 games for Nello. And uh, our leading goal scorer, 26 goals for Takez. Very nice. We had uh, 14 for Pepe and Rooster, uh, 13 for Rojas, 10 for Jefferson. Five players finishing with double-figure goals. I don't, I've don't. i never had that happen. Usually you have one, maybe a second guy. In fact, I think my uh, my lead save, we ended up with two guys with 20-plus, and then nobody else had, had double digits. So to have five in double digits, and then we still have four with six, two with four. I mean, look at all the goal scores. I mean, you know, that's insane. 14 assists for Moraha, 9 for Rooster. Uh, Rooster, I don't believe, is going to come. He's he signed for one more season. I am probably going to let him go. He, uh, he, he was our starter early. We brought in uh, Danilio, and uh, Rooster just uh, did not cut it anymore. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to add... Valued at 625. If we can sell for value, uh, I'll I'll sell for six. I'll be happy with that. Um, so yeah, good season there. And then uh, Nilo, uh, he is 26 years old, and he. Oh, does it show us right there? Yeah, okay, so 34 appearances, allowed 28, 12 clean sheets. What is that? Saves tips, 16 tips, 31 parries, 48 held balls. That's astronomical. 88% passing, a 695 rating. Uh, that was in the league. Uh, he allowed 43 and 56. Uh, Copa Verde got, got him pretty good, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. We've got some guys coming in. Enrique made his debut. Uh, so he got his first match off the bench, played a six, six. It wasn't great. That was that next to last match. So I'm going to go through the transfer period getting into next season. Uh, let's see. Speaking of next season. All right. So. Come on. That's what I want. All right, so January 19th is where that started. All right, we're going to be moving up to first division. Uh, Santos finished sixth. So, hmm. And then if we look at their schedule, they start in January as well. Um... Do we look at, are there any jobs open? Doesn't, oh wait, filter, boop, there we go. Um, all right, so Santos is not available. Second division clubs. Second division Argentina. We've got some insecure. Yeah, Santos doesn't look like they're hurting. They're not in a hurry to make a change, even though he's, hmm, which is fine, which is fine. So I am thinking, let me pull out my calendar here. So today is the 20th, and I believe this will go up maybe Friday? Friday or Saturday, that only gives us like a week, a week and a half. So I think we're going to have to accelerate next season. Just we'll have one season in the first division. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll, we're going to stay with Paysandu uh, just to, you know, unless for some reason Santos uh, or Newell's, but Newell's is stable. 
and uh, I don't think Santos is even on the verge of looking. So we'll be back with Paysandu for our one season in the first division, and um, that should get us up to the uh, pre-release on the 5th of November. So, again, if you guys have any suggestions for a pre-release save, that you know, we'll play that for about two weeks uh, while we're waiting for the full release to come out. Uh, and then, like last year, depending on what I want to do for my long-term save, then we'll, you know, we may end up playing the pre-release save for an extra week or two if we're waiting on a database for some particular thing, uh, because you know, those do, do take a little time to come together. Uh, what else? Um, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this season. Let me know what you think about our signings for the upcoming season so far. If you have any suggestions on positions that I should definitely look to upgrade. I've been going through scouting and I'm looking for guys that would be either number ones or number twos. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm still running into a lot of number, you know, three, four, five, six type players. So, you know, and at the, at the price that they want, I'm not going to, you know, I can't afford to pay that, right? Um, we're already down 400000 on our transfer budget. Uh, payroll is up high. I can move that around a little bit, but again, I don't want to, I don't want to go so high on payroll that we, you know, I want to see if we can start making money. I mean, look, we're down to 740,000. We only got 110,000 for winning second division. So we really, really need to stay up next year. And of course, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. Um, I mean, look at that. You get 10 million for winning 2.7 for 16th place. So, and if we stay up, we get 4.67 at worst. So that's, that's where we can start making money. Um, I've had a really good time in this save. So recap, let me know what you thought about the season. Let me know what you think about our incoming transfers. Scatterbrain, sorry. Uh, let me know if you have any particular uh, ideas or input on players we need to replace, let go, uh, things of that nature. I'll pull up the squad list so you can uh, take a gander at that. And that's our starting 11. Um, Moraha, I couldn't get him. Uh, Lorenko. We cannot get him. He didn't want to come over. Uh, Columbari's joining us full time. Takez is joining us full time. Pernal's leaving. Baguino, I didn't want. We'll have a bunch of loan players returning. A couple of them may be serviceable um, in the long run. And anybody. We do have a bunch of guys. Most of them are our loan players that are leaving at the end of the season. And then a lot of these guys I'm not worried about. Uh, Patel might be the only one, but honestly, he's 28. I think I'd, I think I'd let him go. Plus, he's a foreign player from Peru. I could probably use that for somebody better. Uh, also, and I guess more importantly, after we talk about this save... Let me know ideas for the pre-release beta and any ideas for the long-term save. Anything that you guys would particularly like to see. Um, again, because I'm a small channel, I can kind of cater to those of you, the few of you that do watch this series. Um, it'll have to be something I'll want to do because I want to have fun doing it. Um, but... Uh, you know, we just did a journeyman. I did start it late. I think maybe a longer term journeyman for a whole a whole save might be the way to go. Um, but being that I just did a journeyman, I like to kind of alternate that. So maybe we just go with a uh, like a one club, uh, try to build them up 
and take them as far as we can. Uh, and whether that's a, a, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth type division type club, uh, or if we want to get into a database like we did this year with Infield Town FC uh, and go down to, you know, 11th plus. Uh, of course, then we're waiting on a database and what have you. So anyway, just toss some ideas out. And, you know, the more ideas, the more I can kind of research different teams and, you know, look at the look at the different setups and, and you know, start thinking about that for myself, uh, which direction we're going to go. So great season. Thank you so much for joining along. Next episode, I will have powered through December and into January. And we will be up in the Brazilian National First Division, the NFD. And uh, we will be playing against Santos and the rest of the powerhouses up there. We have our work cut out for us. Guys, thanks so much. We will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.